today I'm talking about setting up and swinging on a single plane. Uh, something I've taught for over 25 years. Uh, I had the pleasure years ago uh, to meet Mo Norman uh, and to be able to watch him hit golf balls and study him. And Mo was a very interesting guy and I really learned a lot from him. Um, I wish I had listened to what he told me many times uh, and you can hear him saying, uh, swing like you, not like me. Uh, which he said in his voice, swing like you, not like me. Um, I wish I'd have understood what it means, but basically it's take the concept and make it your own. And uh, from years of experience in teaching his swing um, and working on it myself and trying to compete with it, uh, I really have boiled it down to the simplest concept possible. And it's not a lot like Moe's swing, except in a few points. I'm gonna talk about that today. And I'm gonna talk about how it's different and how you go about actually doing it. Uh, so uh, the genius of Mo and what he did was setting up with the club here with an orientation of his arm where his trailing arm was on the same plane as the golf club at setup. Now he had his arms very straight, uh, although if you look at impact, you'd see that his trailing arm was somewhat bent. Uh, the same with the legs. He started with the legs straight and through impact had the legs very bent. Uh, this flies in the face of conventional wisdom, uh, which has, uh, for most players, uh, the legs bent and it impacts straight. And there's a simple reason for that is the legs are always going to be straightening to create power. And that straightening also is what helps get the hands leading through impact, which creates more accuracy. Mo developed his method uh, from the ages of 17 to 19, and it's very unique in the way that he dropped into the ball um, and released the club uh, through impact. Obviously it worked for him, but he was also left arm dominant and played right handed, uh, which not many people are. So trying to copy his swing, I found was very difficult. And so uh, what I found is copying more uh, what the top players do as far as their legs are concerned and the way the body's working through impact uh, works far better and it's even easier on my body. I used to have uh, some back pain and tightness in my body, uh, which I no longer have here moving naturally through the shot. Mo also kept the trailing heel down on the ground in contact with the ground through impact. Although when he was younger, it actually rolled to the inside of the foot uh, so that part of his foot was up off the ground through impact. Um, I found that uh, to be extremely limiting as far as distance uh, is concerned. As you see, all top players straightening their legs and the heel comes up, for some of them a little bit, for some of them a lot, coming into impact. The guys that are hitting it farthest tend to have more uh, lifting of the heels through impact. So I'll set up also uh, with the trailing arm a little bit bent and I stand much closer to the ball. The closer that we can stand to the ball, the easier we make it to deliver the grip leading forward without having to drop into the ball. Uh, so the closer I stand, it's also far easier to swing the club back and through on line on the target line than when I'm far away from the ball. You could see a huge arc of the swing. It's very difficult. Uh, Mo did it here by this move here, dropping in. From my experience, I've never seen anybody uh, come close uh, to hitting the ball as well as Mo Norman and putting on exhibitions, uh, just hitting the ball straight where people would come from miles away to see him hit. Uh, I've never seen anybody do that. Um, and some have tried or tried longer than I did. So. so finding your distance from the ball is as simple as making some swings and trying to feel like your body's staying more level through the shot and then where your club strikes the ground is gonna show you your distance from the ball. So if I come up here, that's gonna be my ideal distance from the ball. Then I just have to swing the club back and through. Just like that, hit a perfect shot. So here's a down the line analysis of the shot you just saw me hit. And you can see how at setup, if you look at the yellow line along the golf club and how it's in line with the right arm up through the elbow. I'm looking for really matching this up at impact. So you'll see the same 
look hopefully at impact that you see it set up. You also see the line from the top of my neck uh, down through my spine. And I use this just to see that I'm staying at around the same angle uh, back and through. You'll see the club go back along the yellow line there. So you can see how it's very much on a single plane going back. So it's on the single plane going back. And when it comes down, it comes right down that plane. So you could trace the club moving down uh, and it's coming right exactly down uh, the plane. So it's a very neutral path. And what I saw with people uh, in the past who were trying to take the club to the inside on the way back, uh, an interesting thing happens, and that's that at least 95% of them that I saw, they go up this way, so the club's like that at the top, and then I'll draw a red line coming down, the downswing comes down something like that, and so the path at impact ends up uh, out to the right of target. And so in order to get the ball to the target, then what they need to do is close the club face. Uh, typically that's an early release move uh, that gets them there. Uh, but in some cases, the grip is just a little bit stronger. Uh, in any event, it's difficult to repeat that consistently uh, for most people. And in a lot of cases, they also uh, have the feet aligned to the right and other factors. Uh, so really the idea, take it back on one single plane and then come back down on that same plane. Uh, you see the turn, uh, you can see the turn of my hips, uh, judging by the left leg straightening here. Uh, and again, the legs are straightening. It doesn't mean they're gonna be dead straight at impact. So I'm very happy with this swing. And from my experience, I can easily help anybody become a very much improved ball striker in a short amount of time, just applying these principles set up for impact. And it's a lot easier uh, to achieve great ball striking as opposed to copying any golfer, be it Bryson or Mo uh, or anyone else. Uh, it's best to find your path and what works best uh, for your body style and finding your distance from the ball should be an individual thing, uh, as well as uh, learning to move naturally within the limits of your flexibility. Also, talking about the grip, that's another big difference. Uh, and uh, Mo had the back of the hand more towards the target, a very neutral grip position, uh, where I've found that most people do a lot better in a, what we would call a stronger position with the hand rotated a little bit more to the side. Uh, so the thumb more, uh, as I look down, so the thumb is more on the right side of the grip. And the trailing hand is also customizable. It doesn't have to be as far under as Mo had it. And Mo, again, he was lead arm dominant, so he could put the trailing hand under and it wouldn't close the face. For most people, that's what's closing the face. So I'll just put it on in a more neutral position with the palm of the hand more towards the target and then when I get set up, it's simply back and through, and another perfect golf shot. And they all go straight. Um, it's a great thing. It's very easy uh, to learn. My learning program takes you really step by step how to customize the grip and set up, uh, as well as how to learn how to make perfect impact with the grip leading through impact, which gives you the flat spot, a square spot, and uh, a straight line through impact. It makes it easier to hit the center of the club face and it really eliminates hitting fat and thin golf shots. We start out really with short swings and uh, learning how to perfect impact from here to here and then we move on to longer swings uh, and again it's customizable. Members can submit videos uh, to me through the free V1 golf app. I mean this is worth hundreds of dollars uh, and you can do it Every day if you need to, you can send in videos. I'll review them and send them back and make sure you're on the right track. If you ever need a checkup or when things are going really well and it falls apart a little bit, you just shoot me a video, shoot me an email, and I'll guide you to fixing it. So uh, please, if you haven't already, subscribe here. Uh, again, let me know if you have any questions or comments. Put them in the box below. And I look forward to helping you improve your golf game.